naively childish point of view to an astonishing situation. On August 25, 1939, in the United States, came the poster of The Wizard of Oz for Victor Fleming. Based on the book by the same name by L. Frank Baum, published at the beginning of that century, the feature chronicled the strange adventures of Dorothy Gale in the land of Oz. After being taken home with her pet dog, Toto, by a tornado on her farm in Kansas, the girl will end up in the distant kingdom, surrounded by living landscapes and creatures that escape the known pattern. Inserted in a weird and dangerous plot of power struggle, Dorothy's chance lies at the end of a road with golden bricks, in which she follows a journey surrounded by life hazards only perceptible when viewed with the correct distance. After all, what is it to be attacked by nefarious trees, pursued by a bad witch and surprised by flying monkeys in the singing ingenuity of a child? Same ingenuity that sees solutions in their conception. Obvious to the problems of the friends he made on the way a brain for a scarecrow filled with straw, a heart for a tin man, courage for a cowardly lion. All items achieved at the end of an adventure, whose guarantee is only in the belief that such an outcome will come, regardless of interference from others. Stories whose development is intrinsically linked to the infantile imaginary that things do not present such an urgent threat, with a positive point of view regarding situations that, when adults, realism throws a spade of lime in any hope of succeeding, are common in different pop culture products. In the Mexican novel Allegra F.C. Rabujos, 2003-2004, a troop of children interacts with an old wizard inside an abandoned mansion, without the supervision of those responsible. In the television adaptation of Sidio do Picapau Amarelo, in the arch, Ryan Acos de Narizino, 2001, the little girl of the same name is invited to the kingdom of Aguas Claras, in the future marrying the prince of the place, Pokémon. In all its possible disambiguations, stuck on children traveling alone and facing criminal organizations using the little monsters, almost ignoring the possible risks of these acts. And it is in that good dose of inconsequential childish ingenuity that one finds the gold of the promised Neverland, one of the best mangas in publication at the present time. A day-to-day -day completely normal, written by author Kai Ushirai and drawn by illustrator Pasuka Demizu, the series is one of the current phenomena in sales in the Japanese comic book market, with chapters serialized within weekly Shonen Jump since 2016. Its ten bound volumes since then have accumulated more than six million copies sold around here. It began to be published by Panini in August of this year. The story tells the life of children in